Hi, it's Crea. Now, if you watched the first tutorial video on how to access, download and open the Artifact 3D files of your Clonex on any 3D software like Blender, you are now able to use your very own Clonex avatar for a wide range of fun applications. But to start simple, let's say you want to show off your avatar and create a pose and a render. This is very straightforward and I will briefly show you how you can do this. Let's start with the pose. And let's say we want to create a simple character pose in which the Clonex avatar stands up and shows a peace sign with her left hand. To do that, stay in object mode and select the armature of the model. Then go into pose mode and by selecting the bones of the armature, you can now use these tools on the left to change the position and angle of each bone. Now to get the pose that we're aiming for, adjust the bones of the arms and hands like so. You can also try tilting the head a little bit, as well as the shoulders, and move the legs too to make the pose look even more natural. Now, once you're happy with the pose, it's time to render. To do this, first find an angle that you like, add a camera and drag it to the desired place. And in order to view your avatar through the camera lens, just press 0 on the numpad. Then go into viewport shading, add some lights, which can be either point, sun, spot or area lights and adjust the power and radius of each light just like so. You can also change the world properties by, for example, changing the color of the background or even add a plane that acts as a base. Create a new material, change the color and other settings like metallic and roughness to achieve the look that you're going for. Personally, I like a black reflective floor. Before rendering, you can also go here to adjust the focal length of the camera to achieve a more realistic and cinematic look. Now, once you're happy with the ambient lighting and overall pose of your Clonex avatar, it's time to render. By default, the render engine that Blender uses is Eevee, but you can switch it to Cycles to get an even more lifelike result. Under Output Properties, you can change the resolution of the final image, and if you go to the left and click Render, Blender will start creating your image. Depending on the file size of your models and your system settings, this process could take anywhere between a few seconds or even several minutes. But once it's finished, voila, your render is ready. I also like to make a few adjustments using Photoshop to brighten up or improve the colors, but this is just a personal preference. And here you go, your Clonix avatar render is finally ready. Now that you've learned the basics, you can let your imagination and creativity run wild and make new and awesome renders.